Hello there and welcome back. So today's episode, as you can see, we've got our very first train station over here, which runs all the way across. And uh, yeah, the goal and the plan is to build a bit of a foundation here for our farming district. So that's going to be quite exciting. And then uh, we'll try and fix up this area as well because we, we were about to have a bit of a bad tide. So yeah, let's get straight into the episode. And here we go. We've got a bad tide approaching as well. And before we... Uh, let me actually just pause this for a quick second. Before we build up this area, the network and the, the farming district here, or the new one to be, I would quickly like to have a quick uh, observation over here. So I think we had some dynamites. And the goal, uh, thanks to your feedback and input, was to deepen this area as much as we can. We are going to give you the highest of priorities. There we go. And uh, I guess once this one is done, that's when we can create this channel here as well. Okay, then um, what we have right now is these floodgates are connected to the stream gauge over there. Uh, they can go through, which means... Hmm. Another thing I'm thinking here is we, we should probably deepen this whole area. I mean, at least two tiles deep, isn't it? They've got access right now. And we should have the, the beaver power. The numbers. Yeah, we should. So let's try and put down as many dynamites as we can. Quick auto save, it seems. Oh, there we go. And then we can do a couple more over here as well. I'd like to also swap you guys over. Okay, so we can probably... Delete these ones for the time being. Okay. Yep. Here we go. And with the... Or in the anticipation of this area being a little bit lower later. We are also going to place a couple of dynamites over here. Let's give you the highest of priorities. The reason why I've not um, uh, destroyed this one just yet. Is I'd like to keep those settings. Just in case we forget to build this up. Yeah. I think we... We have a feeling we might forget a few things because there's quite a quite a lot of stuff happening right now. So yeah, this area I think we're not too worried about because we've got some uh, settings over here as well. Oh yeah, another thing I was going to say. Um, <laughs> let's grab... I think it might be you. Another thing I've done here real quick is I've set it to contamination high pressure all is 2%. So if it's higher than 2, these gates will all open up and stay open until it drops to like 1%. Now, this one over here, sadly, I don't think we're going to have a lot of success over here. Uh, so, yeah, probably going to have a bit of a flood. Definitely expecting that to happen. Let me just put a couple of levees here. Now, they can still run around, which probably is a bit problematic. So, let's block this one in here as well. I should probably get rid of the roads. Okay, here we go. Let's just not delete anything else accidentally okay here we go block you in and then we're gonna need to have another one over here all right so there we go we can leave you for the time being it is night time i don't want to skip it just yet just in case okay so that one goes we are almost done this one in here with the highest of priorities and for the time being, I think everything can be left to zero. Yeah, we don't want to take any chances over here. Now, any of these floodgates set up over here? No, they are not. But we do... Okay, fine. Let's just set it up just in case. So, bad tide starts. We are going to bring those gates up. And when it ends, actually, we're just going to keep them up for now. And then hopefully it's still all gonna go out from this area. Okay, another thing we don't need in here is these gates. All right. And you have a bit of access right now. Hold on a second. We are about to delete that area. So probably don't need you over here. Okay. Dynamites are going in, so that's lovely. We can grab a couple more from here. This side is accessible. Same from here, so we should be able to take this whole area at least one level down. Okay, you guys are in as well. Which means we can do this slightly better flood gates. Okay, here we go. It's the final day before the flood starts. And I think we have everything queued up now, don't we? 
Yep, dynamite is in. Just waiting for someone to construct it. All right, here we go. Now, hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to construct or build this up over here. What we can do. Ah, uh, hold on a second. Okay, that's probably what we can do here as well. We should definitely drop this. Oh, uh, no, I don't think we have the time. I mean, we can delete it probably when the flood starts or the band tide. Stranded. Let's have a look over here as well. What's happening? Okay, how did you get stuck over here? Alright, so to let you pass through, let's just put a, a double one like so. And we'll say it's a fairly high priority as well. Don't want you guys to be stuck there for too long. And okay, injured, contaminated. Are oh, you guys are still contaminated? Well, we do have a few bots, so I think... Things should get better very soon. Alright. Now with this area, hopefully... Is it set up properly or is it not? I have a feeling... Oh, never mind. It seems to be good. Now double check these gates here as well. And... Okay. Right, so the next thing... We have sort of switched it around with the mangroves already. And right now we don't have any coffee anywhere. So... What we could probably do is do we have to like remove everything first because i'm thinking of yeah maybe raising this up a little bit and putting coffee over here so essentially uh, swapping them around okay so high not high let's do a low priority task over here it is not super important but if we have a bit of spare time it would be wonderful if you guys clean this up all right here we go and these ones as well Fantastic. Let's have a quick look over here as well. I don't want to mess this up before before it starts. All right, we are almost there. Let's give you a highest of priorities. Uh, dynamites are now almost in. Okay, let's take this side down. Lovely. So that is all done and... That section can go as well. We'll give you the highest of priorities because I don't want the resources to get stuck somewhere here. And we can already start preparing. Actually, I don't think they really need to climb down here. So let's just leave it for the time being. All right, they're bringing in the next set of dynamites. And you are almost done as well, which is fantastic. Okay, I think we have made a bit of a mistake here as well. I thought we might have enough time... Alright, you guys grab all of this uh, stuff over there. I thought we might have time to get rid of the, the floodgate over here and go down by a level, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of time. Yeah, all those spots are busy bringing in dynamites, but not this one, I'm afraid. Uh, fortunately, this side is done, which means you can go now. I really hope that's going to be enough to contain... Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, well, not to worry. At, at least everything is flowing through this area, so that is okay. Now, come on, please tell me it's... Okay, here we go. We're constructing this already. Pause it. Detonate. Alright, there we go. Highest of priorities. Let's go, beavers. Well, not the beavers, the bots. Uh, this side, hopefully they're not going to walk in there. We should be okay. I mean, I really hope it's going to be okay. Right, here we go. So maybe there is going to be enough time. Who knows? Yeah, uh, we might be able to save it, this section in here. This one, definitely not. Well, at least they've done a few levees in here, so that's fantastic. Now we are also going to have to give them a bit of access. So they can climb up here. And same on this side. Let's put on a ladder just like so. Then eventually... Oh yeah, well that's going to have to change a little bit as well because we want those sides to be a little bit higher, don't we? Right, so we don't really need access to this area just yet. And it's a little funky as well, we should have probably... Yeah, we might have the, the walls from here. Actually, who knows, we might not to... Hmm. Well, okay, what I was thinking, if we put some wheels in here, then... Uh, one side we can do the walls from here and then the other side yeah we're gonna need to leave like a bit of a gap in here i think yeah so power power wires from here 
well we'll see we'll see i think we're okay with about power for the time being and here we go four days for the bad tide here it goes let's hope uh these gates are closed oh yes they managed to get this done but hold on a second that was oh yeah mistake number two these were supposed to be triple flat gates not double hold on a second all of the dynamites are done and here we go alrighty so that means you can go as well give you a slightly high priority and then we can do the same right over there okay now next thing who's got the settings you don't have the settings so you do actually did I do the wrong one? Oh yes I might have done the wrong one uh actually no what do we are uh, yeah it's all kind of mixed up now isn't it well, no, this one's with the settings, so that means we can delete this one here. Right, let's give this a try. Oh, these resources might get a little bit stuck as well. Let's just double check. Yep, this one's going to go. And this one. Uh, this one is already correct now, isn't it? Right, let's have a quick look. All of that bad water is flowing through very nicely. So we can be happy with this. And let's have a look at this disaster here as well. Actually... It's not as bad as we thought it might be. So let's just remove the that section there. Alright, pick it all up. You get the highest of priorities. And what we'll probably want to do here is... I'm thinking stairs or ladders in the middle. So that way they'll be able to access pretty much everything in here. And then I'll do the sides first. Okay... Oh, no, that's not going to really help us now, is it? Let me just take this down. It might work like this. Yeah, let's um, let's give it a try. All right, so whilst this is all... Hold on a second. Is this one fine? I was about to have a heart attack, but it seems everything is A-OK -okay here. So this means we can uh, sort of start focusing on the priorities for this episode as well. And uh, we... We're talking about establishing like a farming zone in here. Let me just pause you for a second so it's a little bit easier to zoom around the map. So what I am thinking, Scrap City is going to remain the way it is. I mean, well, it is going to receive some improvements such as having a couple more control towers all over the place. There's one over here, there's going to be another one here which I don't think they can do right now. And probably the same problem here as well. Let me see, I'm getting a little bit distracted but that's okay. Okay, so um, yeah, Scrap City is going to remain the way it is, but um, this farming zone, although I liked it at the, at the, or in the early game, it feels like um, it's too cramped together. Especially, well, this map is pretty big, right? So uh, we've got the Scrap City uh, here, which is going to be quite, quite like a metropolis, and then a bit of farming, then our original starting uh, state as well, and then we are also planning to build like a beaver venice on this massive lake here so i don't think i want this to be all kind of like one big zone because that's exactly what's going to happen once we put the beaver venice here so i'm thinking that we might actually get rid of all the vegetation and everything we have in here and then uh, yeah relocate the farming areas sort of somewhere around here yep we've got a bit of water already are you closed Yes, you are. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, so that's the... Uh, that is the plan. Now, how are we going to do this? I'm not really sure. But I have already got the trains. So that's... Uh, that's fantastic. Yep, so access... Alright, train needs to go from there. What's the other one here? Is this for... For the Beavis? Oh yeah, it is a road access here. So, fine. Let's uh, place you here for the time being. And actually, we should not place you here for the time being because so I have a feeling this is maybe the area where we might be building the train station. I kind of want to make it not too far away from the city itself. I kind of want it to be like in the middle here. But with the access and uh, all the ruins, maybe this is like where we can build everything. Okay. Now, the question is, do we need beavers to walk underneath? There might 
be some request for different kinds of access so they don't need to climb down from here so we can change this slope as well i was hoping to keep it but if the train station is going to be here then um yeah that's going to have to go all right and then what we are also going to do we might drop down a level although it doesn't make sense now does it no, I think we're going to have to keep this up here. All right, let's just figure this out. You're going to go here, and then we need a clear path through this whole area as well. Actually, if it's the train... <laughs> I'm thinking maybe it's not going to be platforms. Okay, well, let's uh, leave it the way it is for now. Yeah... I'm thinking levees might be a much more interesting option. And if we want to make it a little bit more realistic, I guess as well, then uh, we should probably ensure that the trees are not growing directly next to the train tracks. Right, so the next thing, let's have a look. If we have levees like so, we definitely want to leave some kind of access points every now and then as well. I don't know where exactly they're going to be, so I'll just leave a couple of caps for the time being. Then, um, somewhere around here, actually, yeah, we, we're not going to leave this gap in here. What we want to do is we want to let this climb down a level. And then we're going to have the tracks just like so. Okay. And then the next thing what I'm thinking to do is to use those decoration blocks. Yep, place them on either side to make this kind of... Yeah, more like industrious. I hope this makes sense. All right, there we go. One side and the opposite side. Yeah, so I guess we're going to build them like so, just to make it more like gradual drop from here as well, so it wouldn't be so harsh. And I mean, I guess it's a little bit more realistic in some ways as well. Or, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Then uh, around this area over here, I don't think we want to use those wooden ones. This road is most likely going to remain here. Let's have a look. Over here, we'll grab a reinforced one. Oh yeah, definitely gonna make sure it's as strong as possible. And don't think this tunnel should be too small. So here's what we'll do. Couple of levees. Hmm, that kind of defeats the purpose of... Or maybe it doesn't. We can always let them go around as well. Let's just... Yeah, let's give this a try. So you're gonna go here. Are you... They might be out of range, so we'll give them a road for the time being. Okay, and... Alright, you guys don't have a lot of access in here. I don't want to remove those trees, so we'll just give you another road here. And, um, okay, with the drains crossing over, I think we had another option here as well. Right, so we can construct the steel bridges, which might be, might be quite interesting. I've never never used those blocks before all right you guys are almost done with this area here we go and then now the question is do we want to start the bridge from somewhere here i guess so because it's not quite even so yeah maybe those triple ones might be might be more suitable now crossing over is probably going to be a bit problematic for us so how about we just build a couple of platforms let them all crossover give you a slightly higher priority there we go and all of this here as well all right so quick check on the development of things on this side of the pond as well here we go we've got some dynamites already in place which is fantastic just gonna detonate as many of you as possible as well you seem to be a little bit in our way here we go so Okay, as long as we don't have beavers that have access in here, I think we might be fine. They've um, surprisingly completed or managed to complete fairly sizable area with the, with the levees here as well. So that's, that's great to see. Here we go. We're going to need a couple more levees. And right, with the access, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to yeah build up all the all the rest of it but that's okay we'll um we'll try and fix it as we as we go so here we go we've got the platforms in now we're just gonna grab a road connect you up here we go 
and this side, and this side as well, crossover, yeah, I think we should have a slightly, maybe a bit better access for the future, but for now, uh, here we go, fortunately it's not been flooding, so that's great to see, I am pretty surprised though, gotta admit, yeah, I thought it's definitely gonna flood, but somehow it seems to be okay. Right, you guys can climb up from there. And I think we should be able to construct most of it. Maybe not everything in here. Okay, there we go. Now let's have a quick look. Okay, we got a couple of dynamites in. That one as well. And all we need is just a few, a few floodgates in here. This one is A-OK -okay as well. Everything is through. Okay, so they've got the resources out of this zone, which is fantastic. All we need now is the dynamites, and then we can kind of change it up a little bit. You might want to go a little bit lower as well. All right, here we go. And then this one goes out. I have a feeling that this uh, canal over here might actually be a bit of an overkill. Maybe. Because uh, once we... As per your recommendations as well once we lower this area in here i think we might be fine so if we look at the depth over here 2.4 oh yeah i guess the only way to find out is once we close you up a little bit we'll we'll see it rise but i think we might be fine okay let's uh zoom back over here so we've got the train tracks already kind of in here oh wow those bridges are actually pretty lovely and does it already include the drain tracks, or do we still have to build them in here? Oh, we do have to build them in here. Okay, well, no worries. I wonder if they can build them from the side. I guess we'll find out, yeah. Because if they can't, then it's going to be a little bit tricky for to let them climb up. And then, yeah, figure this kind of out in a way. Okay, access is problematic. Not to worry. Couple more roads through this area. Should be able to construct everything up now. And then I'm just going to give them a slightly higher priority. And um, yeah, let's uh, allow them a little bit of time to construct and uh, demolish some of the forest here. And we'll be back as soon as this is done. Right, so there we go. The drought, not the drought, the bad tide is finally over. And let's have a look over here. Yep, our system seems to have failed a, a little bit. Uh, these gates are at its lowest, so hopefully this water is going to go through very quickly. Alright, we've got... you are locked up currently. Bit of water coming through, we might actually drop you down. Let's just let everything... yeah... hmm... Well, at least it hasn't spilled over the wall, so I guess that's a... That's a bit of a progress. This over here, oh yeah, I, I think I know how we can avoid this in the future. Just like how we have, let's have a look, these gates in here, that they remain open whilst it's contaminated. We can do the same, yeah, we can do the same on the sides here actually as well. If we detect that they're still, let's have a look, we can probably build you, let's test it out. So we're going to do one over here. And, right, probably want to lower this area a little bit. We'll test it on the left side. And then essentially what we want to say in here is, let's go in the advanced. Well, we can't connect you up, but um, contamination high threshold. So if it's high, we'll just close the gates instead of opening them. Yep, that's how we probably can do it. But for now, I think we are A-OK. -okay. This section here... Hmm, might have to do a similar thing, that these won't open. Yeah, a little bit messy, but that's not our main focus for the time being. It's, um, no one is dying, so we can leave them, leave them be, and hopefully we'll fix them in the future. Now, this area has been going up pretty nicely. We've got this lovely looking bridge in place as well. So that is very cool. I'm glad we have some bridges for the for the trains. Yeah, so this area is starting to go up uh, pretty quickly as well. I've just changed up the, the roads a little bit because I do want them to... Oh, hold on a second. You should probably do the middle bits first. Actually, it doesn't matter. What I've noticed here is they can actually climb up using the decoration slopes. So that's pretty cool. 
Are you going to be stuck in here now? Uh, okay, here we go. Yep, so um, need to give them a little bit more time. But I thought whilst they are building over there, let's uh, look how we want to plan this out as well. Obviously, all those trees are definitely going to go at least on this side of the lake. Now, this side might want to have a bit of a forest in here. It doesn't really matter too much, I think. And then, yeah, the mountaintop doesn't need to be green. Of course, it can be. Oh, no, someone's stranded. How is that possible? Okay. Right, I see. Let's just take this one out. And uh, hopefully... Okay. Hopefully you can escape. There we go. Right. So, uh, yeah, mountaintop doesn't have to be green. Of course it can be. Maybe we can do some forests in here. But definitely the lower areas will 100% be, be the farms. So maybe we should start nice and small. Okay. By... How can we go? Okay. So that should be enough. Let's have a look. The roads... I think some of them I am going to still leave them as straight as possible. Just a couple of kind of like highways. All right, here we go. These bits can go as well. And then once we cross over, we're going to take everything out from there. All righty. Okay. The uh, sort of access points and things, they will definitely change. I just need to give them a few different areas where they can climb up from. All right. And I might actually even do one over here with a slightly lower priority all right here we go and oh wow they actually have done this pretty quickly right so for now i guess we don't have to do the metal platforms just yet because we don't know how many rows we're gonna have in this area but i definitely can put down a few drain tracks already okay then uh, with the stations we're gonna have one maybe Maybe over the bad water, maybe not. And for now, we're just going to have a very minor short train route in here. Okay, we can't obviously go... Oh, train track crossing, that's something new. So which way do you have to place it? Road connects from there, I see. Okay, fair enough, that makes sense. Let's uh, put down a station as well. Oh, train yard probably needs to be done first, so what are we... Yeah, we'll give you a bit of extra space. You can go about there and then... Right, so I think that's how we're gonna go. Yeah, we can do some... Do we still have the traffic lights as well, don't we? Oh, actually... I don't really see them. Which is interesting. I thought there was, like, traffic lights that we had to place down as well. Or maybe something's changed. Alright, I guess we'll see very soon I mean there's gotta be a way how to control everything isn't it let's have a look at this over here uh, this one cannot be oh you can flip it okay I think that's how we do want to have it or we'll place you like so all right let's just do a yeah, couple of tracks from here as well it is not gonna be super realistic however I think it should be fine for just one train and then later we can change it up a little bit or just make it a bit more efficient I guess. Alright, train station. That's not a train station. Here we go. We're gonna need one of you guys. Uh, this one's a little bit annoying isn't it? Okay, so you're probably gonna have to go about here. Now we are gonna use... never mind we're not gonna do any road access here I think so let's just change it up a little bit I do want to make it a little bit more realistic I think so maybe here we'll have the levees right about here as well and what we'll do in the middle is the reinforced metal platforms and then couple here as well I don't really Okay, let me just measure out how we want this and then we can continue. All right, so there we go. A few days have passed, but I think we have finally reached the the end goal. Okay, so this road, let me just remove this. Oh, actually, never mind. They are going to want to build this up. So, um, yeah, our station is over here. I think right now the access from the city, the scrap city is about, oh uh, yeah, right here. I do want to change this up in the future, but this looks like a bit of a... Too big of a mess to to figure out right now. So, yeah, we we'll use this as the as the access road for the time being. And to be honest, I don't think we're gonna have to 
transport anything around just yet because we still have the farming district over there so um yeah the tracks are in i think it's looking pretty pretty lovely so a bit of space in here i'm thinking i could maybe remove the trees that are closest to the tracks and put something a little bit lower like the blueberries instead and then they get all the way up here and you seem to be complaining but that's okay here we go we are connected up and i don't really know what to call it so we're gonna leave you as district six for the for the time being actually never mind let's just call it farming so it's a little bit easier to move the beavers around okay here we go and um, to kick start this area over here we do have a small gate in here but it says no available oh yeah of course we don't have any workers this one over here this one's gonna be beaver and oh surprisingly we don't have any spare beavers right now but i think we can change that so for example we don't need some buildings we can probably yeah we'll have to go around and pause a few houses but can we find no everything is bots over here i think anything else we could grab nope that's all bots as well this one's full of bots and oh dear okay well maybe some production buildings from here okay there's a few beavers these ones as well yeah okay there we go let's unlock you we've got quite a few bots so let's uh let's pop you around that's gonna give us six beavers now another one seven one from here as well and another one there we go nine beavers i think that's gonna be a good amount to get this started now what we could also do maybe this isn't the best of the buildings so let's um yeah just to help us kickstart the colony i think we are gonna place a slightly bigger one in there and then um to get the water and everything else in i think the first building that we do here can be a water pump at least for the time being then uh, in the future we can of course uh, change things around a little bit and then um, yeah let's get started so farmhouse in here as well you are probably going to want to have a slightly bit more centralized location let's do something like so because that's going to be the access to climb up from there oh yeah you're disconnected so everything is okay wrong side here we go and the first things that we can start producing here, well, those beavers are going to need a bit of food, aren't they? Why don't we do some kohlrabis like so over here? So that's going to be like their food for this colony. Then <laughs> for exporting, well, actually, the next thing we probably should figure out as well, where is our production area going to be? Because this is just the farming district. This is where we produce all the all the goods. Then our plan, just to make this a little bit more busy, is to use the drains to export it. And maybe we can have like a factory over here. Maybe. I don't know, because this is going to turn into a forest, right? Or maybe we can do... Well, anyways, we, we've got some time to, to figure out where the factories are going. The first things we do want to do... Uh, hopefully, have they removed them? Yes, they have. Alright, very quickly, this one goes here. And please do get it built as quick as you can. Right, staff-wise, we're going to have beavers on this side, a couple of you, and then pots on the other side. Lovely. So, <laughs> next thing we'd like to do is we grab the district center from here, and we're going to say migrate uh, scrap city. Nope farming here we go first of all i think in our scrap city we don't need as many anymore so we are gonna say 60 is the maximum and we'd like to transfer over about 10 for now okay let's grab a district center over here as well that seems to be good we are gonna need a couple more builders let's just get these sections done as quick as we can please all right they should be starting to send some resources over now as well so yeah i'm just gonna max out on the bots okay we have enough scrap right now so i'm thinking let me just go over here real quick we've got a mine here and i'd like to take out yeah let's just have half the capacity right now all right there we go so um 
this one over here let's manage the distribution and let's say we are gonna bring in what can we bring in right now allow receiving allow sending can we enable both oh okay we can't well that's fine let's just receive some stuff here right now and perhaps some water as well and then what i'll do is maybe oh yeah hold on a second maybe we can pause this building or definitely let's reduce it a little bit uh, they can't oh yeah i see you can't construct this locks is what we what we need before we can start constructing everything here but um okay now we should probably do the same over here as well in here we're gonna say we allow to send them out let's uh ship them over and the next thing we'd like to do is let's just create and build our very first train oh here we go that was uh that was pretty pretty fast and it feels like those trains are a little bit quicker than before aren't they okay so you are gonna be waiting over here oh so we can actually change the models as well we've got a box over here that's the flat one okay gondola metal cart Ah, oh, that one makes it a little bit smaller. Passenger wagon. I wonder if we can actually... I doubt we can move the passengers around, but it would be pretty cool, yeah, if uh, if we could in the future. But for now, I think that's fine. Let's just leave it as it is. It's not really moving right now. Prioritized by haulers. I think we have quite a few in this district already. So, so yeah, what's happening now? We'll give you a slightly higher priority. Let's see if and when they will start bringing in things so another thing we'd like to export okay here we go they're holding some stuff now uh, another thing we are gonna send is and there it goes is the logs and here we're gonna receive okay we're receiving water as well and how about we i'm thinking to pause it but i don't know how long those beavers are gonna survive without food and water so here we go dropped off the first load of eggplant rations here it goes goes back to the station over here and this one's pretty much loaded up already as well let's just try and grab you you've got corn rations berries kohlrabis and the last one has eggplant okay so it's definitely working that's lovely to see now my next question is what if we want to have multiple trains here yeah we used to have those traffic lights before but now without them it's um okay i'm sure we'll figure it out in the future but for now things are working happy with that and i can't wait to learn more about how to put multiple trains on the on the line as well maybe i've actually got no idea how this might happen or maybe we're okay just for the let's see what happens here's another train is he gonna be able to go anywhere at all yeah, there's no flags to indicate the direction either so all i can think of is that this might separate it so if you go here but he's not going there so you're stuck there now okay oh well i'm gonna have to do a little bit of reading but at least we've got a functional train station goods are moving around as well and we might even be able to pause this but for now I think we're just going to keep it the way it is. We've got some farmers already working as well. Plants should be going down. So that is fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's. Um, I think maybe in the next episode, we're going to try and expand on this zone a little bit as well. Let's just uh, cross over and turn it all green. We are definitely going to have to block the bad water here, but that should be pretty, pretty easy as well. So, okay, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.